Hey Music Theory community, today I want to look at a very important passing chord. And this is a chord that can get you from the first scale degree to the third scale degree. So a one chord into the inversion of a one six chord, and that chord is a seven six chord. It's a chord that has the second scale degree in the bass. So if we look at this example, we're in the key of F major. Here's your F tonic chord, F. The F is doubled up on top. Again, the best root, the best tone to double in a in a triad is the root. Here's the fifth of the chord, and here's the third scale degree. Now here you have your seven six chord. Before we go into that, let's look at the fact that we have a one six chord here. The one six chord is a chord that has the notes of the tonic triad, but it sits in inversion, in first inversion. So there is your A natural in the bass. So now your seven six chord is a chord that has the notes of the seven, the seven triad, so scale degree seven, two, and four, and it sits in inversion. So a seven chord is in fact a diminished triad, so that's why they we're using the degree symbol, and then it sits in inversion, so we use the Arabic number six, which defines it as being in first inversion, just as the one six chord also has an Arabic number six. So let's look at this chord and, and notice and, and understand what, what would be best to double in a, in a four-part texture and see how the voice leading needs uh, or the tendency tones resolve. Okay, so in this chord, you have scale degree two in the bass and scale degree two heads on up to scale degree three. So two moves to three. That's a requirement. Sometimes you'll find two moving, descending back down to one though. So you can have a one chord, a seven, six chord, and descend back down to a one. So you'll have that G natural as an upper neighbor to the F natural. But here in this mo in this motion, you have it as a passing chord to your one six chord. Again, passing means that there's an ascent stepwise in motion. If it would have returned to the F natural, it would have been your upper neighbor to your F nat to the F natural, to the one chord. Okay, so now we've exhausted the use of the the G. We need definitely the leading tone scale degree seven. So where can we put scale degree seven heading off either the tenor, the alto, or the soprano? We need an E natural. If you're going to put it off that A, you're going to have to skip to it. If you're going to put it off the C, you're going to have to skip up to, this, to the E. But if you put it right here in the soprano, you don't have to skip. There's stepwise motion down. You're exhausting the E. The E is the leading tone. We know that leading tones need to rise up to the tonic. And there you have the completion of that. Notice how you do have to check that you don't have any parallel motion in fifths or octaves. So students, a G natural to an E, what is that interval? And then and an A to an F, what is that interval? These are parallel what? These are parallel sixths, which is pleasing motion. Parallel thirds, parallel six and tenths make for good parallel motion. Okay, so now we've exhausted the use of the E. We have the G. We need the B. We can use the B here, ascending in the alto part. But if we do that, most likely we're going to have a bigger space from the alto to the tenor. So it might be a good option to have the B in the tenor. And then what are we going to double in the 7-6 chord? The best tone to double in the 7-6 chord is scale degree 2. You never want to double the leading tone because, as we know, leading tones need resolution upward. So the best note to double is the third of the chord. So the third of this chord, of the 7-6 chord, would be the G natural. So you now you have G natural, B natural, G natural, E. Now notice how there's a G natural heading up, scale degree moving into scale degree 2. So now this G natural, it's very important that you cannot head up to the A natural or else, or else you'll, you will have parallel octaves. So in this case, the G natural has to descend down to the tonic 
opening up to the octave to avoid the parallel octaves. Now where is the voice, where's the B natural in the tenor going to go? In a 1-6 chord. You have an F, you have one F, you have an A, you need a C. A great choice would be right here, moving in parallel thirds. So, good voice leading here. Let's look at this in motion now. Oops. Here's our one chord. Moving up to our seven six chord. One six. In block chord formation. Now very important, from a one to a seven six to a one six, What's most pleasing is the fact that you have that rising line in the bass, not, uh, bass line. So you have Do, Re, Mi. One more time. And there you have your one chord, your seven six, and your one six. And again, that seven six chord is a very important chord that can connect a one chord and a one six chord. The one chord and its inversion. Let's listen to that again. Okay, music theory community, thank you very much for your attention. Talk soon.